In 2012, the Arizona Iceberg Lettuce Research Council conducted a survey of Arizona lettuce producers to identify research priorities. Disease control and management is the largest priority. Within this area of research, downy mildew is a great concern to producers. Hi, I'm Paul Brierly, Executive Director of the Yuma Center of Excellence for Desert Agriculture. We work closely with university researchers and the agriculture industry to problem solve and rapidly respond to desert agriculture's pressing problems. In this video, you'll hear recommendations from University of Arizona plant pathologist, Dr. Michael Matheron. Downy mildew of lettuce is caused by the fungus-like plant pathogen, Bremia lactuki. Downy mildew is a major disease in lettuce production systems around the world. Disease epidemics can be devastating when environmental conditions favor disease development. Spores of Bremia lactuki deposited on lettuce plant leaves will germinate under favorable environmental conditions, will infect leaves, and in due course, produce visible symptoms which consist of light green to yellow spots on the upper leaf surface confined by the veins of the leaf to give lesions an angular appearance. A white fluffy growth composed of spore producing structures and spores of the pathogen typically develops from these spots on the underside of leaves. In time, these infected areas on leaves will turn light tan to brown in color. Temperature and especially leaf wetness play critical roles in the disease development process. Spores of the pathogen are produced at night when dew forms. The optimum temperature for spore production is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, but will occur anywhere between 41 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Release and dispersal of spores begin around sunrise and peak from 10 a.m. to noon. Infection can occur in as little as three hours when leaves are wet. Research has shown that downy mildew infections occur when lettuce leaves are not dry until 10 a.m. or later. On the other hand, no infection takes place when leaves are dry by 8 a.m. The time from infection to development of a visible symptom and production of spores can be as short as 10 days. The incidence and severity of downy mildew increases together with an increasing number and duration of wet leaf days. One management tool is the use of resistant varieties. Over the years, plant breeders have incorporated genetic resistance to downy mildew into some lettuce varieties. However, lettuce varieties resistant to all known variants of the pathogen are not currently available. Fungicides can be very effective management tools. To achieve the highest level of disease control from fungicide products, the following facts need to be considered. A fungicide application program should rotate among or use mixtures of products with different modes of action to delay development of resistance within the pathogen to these active ingredients. Reading fungicide labels carefully is essential as these documents provide important information concerning the particular characteristic of the product and application instruction. A fungicide application program should be started with disease prevention in mind when environmental conditions favor disease but before the actual appearance of downy mildew symptoms. Continued treatments will be necessary as long as the threat of downy mildew development exists. For optimal fungicide performance, thorough coverage of lettuce foliage is vital. Finally, since leaf wetness is essential for downy mildew development, any cultural practice that will reduce the number and duration of leaf wetness periods, such as choice of planting site and method of irrigation, can help manage this disease. The overall success in managing downy mildew of lettuce can be optimized by employing an integrated disease management approach. Simply put, this involves incorporating all available management tools 
within a disease management action plan. The Yuma Center of Excellence is working hard to deliver answers to problems like downy mildew and so much more. Go to desertagsolutions.org for more information on this disease and other projects that we're working on together 